inching closer and closer to the end of summer vacation and already we're seeing local leagues progress through their respective postseasons. Tonight, John Rawlings take us to the waters down in Wapakoneta to spotlight the WOAL Swimming Championships this weekend. The familiar buzzing sound known to all swimmers is coming to an end this summer as the Western Ohio Aquatic League concludes their summer season with the WOAL Championships. It's really exciting because like we like the environment, you know, a lot of our friends and family can come and support and it's just you feel comfortable here so you can have a lot of fun with your friends. Though Mother Nature has been dampening our moods with all the rain she has brought, hundreds still gathered for the first day of the final meet. But it tells you how much they love the sport. It tells, you, it tells you how much the families in this community love this sport and encourage their children to participate. And you know what? Their children will encourage their children to, to do it too. So that's why this sport is growing. With swimming starting to trend again, Angel broke down what makes this sport so special. So there's a lot of interest in it, especially with the Olympics uh, coming up next year. Uh, so this is a great sport. It's also the kind of sport that you can do from the time you're a kid until you're my age. It sticks with you forever. After winning last year's WOAL championships in Kenton, the Wapakoneta Waves look to make another big splash, but this time at their home pool. Swimmers say this is an advantage, but others view it differently. I think that it'll make people feel more comfortable when they swim because they know the pool and they're in it every day. It's definitely an advantage for us, of course, because we've been practicing here every day. I mean, every pool is different, so it's definitely, for other teams, it's, it's going to take uh, more time for them to use it than for us. It's the same as the other pools. Uh, everybody has to, sw has to swim. Everybody has to compete. But the, best sw the best team wins. Tomorrow will be the finals for the championship meet, and the defending champs believe they have what it takes to repeat. I definitely think we have a good shot, and um, I know that we're all going to put um, our all into it and do our best, and I guess whatever happens, happens, but yeah, we're definitely going for the win here. In Wapakoneta, John Rawlings, Your News Now Sports. Thank <laughs> you.